I start in the name of Allah Almighty, who is the most gracious and the most merciful. Mr. President, today our hearts are ready to pay tribute to those who made efforts and struggles for the attainment of freedom for the Muslims of subcontinent. Today is the 14th August and 14th August is the most blessed day in the entire history of Muslim Ummah. We changed the stretch of the whole world and the whole world accepted the ideology of Islam. Mr. President, Pakistan's creation was no doubt the finest heart of our history. Our forefather who had fought for it envisioned the promise of long cherished freedom, democracy and prosperity. It is a country which was created to work for an ideal democratic state based on social justice as an upholder of human freedom and world peace, in which all citizens were to enjoy equal rights and freedom from fear, want, and ignorance. Mr. President, after the war of 1857, the Muslim leaders were very anxious about providing a safe, peaceful, and separate homeland for the Muslim of subcontinent. The Muslim leaders who worked with their unremarkable leadership abilities were Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan, Sayyid Jamaluddin Afghani, Maulana Muhammad Ali Johar, Chaudhry Rahmat Ali, Allama Muhammad Iqbal, Qaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and the list goes on. Mr. President, Pakistan is one of the richest countries in the world in terms of natural resources. Pakistan is abundant in the vital resources, including that of energy, agriculture, minerals, population, and geography. Pakistan is situated at one of the best geographical and geostrategic locations on the map of the world. Pakistan is affluent in the natural resources. It has enormous energy surplus resources, potential of both renewable and non-renewable, which is greater than that of all rich countries of Gulf. Mr. President, among the world's 200 plus countries, Pakistan has second largest salt mine, second largest coal reserves in the world, fifth largest copper and gold reserves in the world, seventh largest wheat and rice production capacity in the world. It is the sixth most populous country in the world, having large share of young population, and 1046 kilometer long coastal line gives potential of 40,000 megawatts of electricity. Mr. President, I should not say like this, but I am saying that how rich Pakistan is and how poor Pakistan is. Mr. President, the homeland in which we are living as a free man is due to unremarkable efforts and struggles for, of our ancestors. Allah Almighty helped our ancestors to get their lost respect. Mr. President, breathe in. Thousands lay down their lives so that the country is breathing. This day, never forget their sacrifices. Happy Independence. Thank you.